Bears on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. I'd like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species. And I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment. Because they can't expand outside of the paradigm you of the Earth's biosphere, area. dummy. Multiply. We're master builders. Multiply until every natural resource is consumed. And the only way you can survive is to spread to another area. That's right, deep space, here we come. Launch the Mayflower. There's another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. A virus. Human beings are a disease, a cancer. This is what the globalists think of us. Or plague. So they're turning us into a disease. We are the cure. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Here's another story that's in the uh, top news archive of Infowars.com. Just the top story archive will take you to the uh, stuff that's rolled off the front page. And the new design of the site, it's ready, but I want to really get it right. We have a way to keep the best stuff up at the top. But you can still go to the most popular area of Infowars.com and find the uh, 
article about more bullets being bought by Homeland Security. This time they're buying Zombie Killer, which is a really high quality uh, boat tailed uh, long distance sniper round uh, that just so happens to be uh, hollow, partially hollow inside and is illegal under the Geneva Convention to even use in warfare. The reason I keep plugging Drudge is he keeps our stuff up that's important on the front page. You go to DrudgeReport.com. It's in the middle uh, column. And if we show that uh, at DrudgeReport.com, I like how he mixes it together with the other stuff to give you a, an image of what's happening. Right under the monster Pelosi, who looks like she's gone one Botox shot too far. Pelosi pack runs ads slamming Obamacare. Uh, well, I mean, they're running away from their great victory. Uh, Homeland purchasing 141,000 more rounds of sniper ammo that, by the way, is illegal under the Geneva Convention. Walt Watson should probably add that. And then under it, outfitting city buses with spy cameras. And then here's the key. Tying it together, National Guard trains to fight Second Amendment supporters. By the way, nationwide. And I know I keep harping on that day after day, but th we used to get the secret documents and people wouldn't believe it about this. Now it's like all over the news. Yes, the main enemy is the gun owners and the veterans. And don't talk about the founders. They wouldn't be welcome in today's army. I mean, this is West Point, folks. This is all AP, Reuters, Fox News going, should we ban the Declaration of Independence, Boston Globe? Is it hateful? All men are created equal, endowed by their creator. I mean, we have a right to revolt against oppression. Is that actually legal to say you have a right to revolt against a tyranny? Two years ago, they had an article. They had a bunch of them saying, should we get rid of the Declaration of Independence? Is it treason? I think was the headline. When freedom fails, the best men rot in filthy jails. And those that cry to appease, appease, are hung by those they tried to please. It'd be like if the ocean was alive, the H2O was alive and had a voice. And it was there talking to the captain of a submarine and just said, open the doors, open the torpedo launch tubes, let the water come in, depressurize. You're going to not be racist against water anymore. Just open the bulkhead. Just let the state run your kids. Just take the shot. Just trust us. We're going to spy on you for your own good. Open the door. Open the door. Come to me, my child. What's the movie, uh, Event Horizon, where they go into like the dimension of hell and, and the woman misses her baby, her dead daughter, a little little girl, and they said, Mommy, I'm here. Open the, open the airlock. I'm here. I'm liberal. I'm Obama. Oh. And then you open the, oh, I'm going to doot, 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 doot. Opens up ah, my baby. I mean, it is just the mind control, the magnitude. I, I, we should all be running around like chickens with our heads cut off. That the military is training for war with people that like the Bill of Rights and Constitution, Declaration of Independence, and private property, the family, the right to self-defense. I mean, there are a bunch of thugs. The mayor of uh, New York secretly you know, caught 50-plus mayors of quit saying, once we register, we will confiscate. We already knew that. One of his own group members Mike Martinez here in Austin, Mayor Pro Team, admitted that last year to us on video. He said, we're not going to get confiscated now, but if we register, we will. So get ready. <laughs> and his whole gang of them all looked at each other because they're on the winning team, they think. And you got the governor in New York, Cuomo. All his bodyguards saying, hey, you got guns, you're pro-life, get out of the state. That's like out of an old Western. You don't like what we're doing in this town. Making your teenage daughter serve in the brothel, you can just get out of here. <laughs> just like total mafia thug piece of crap. I mean, just in our face. Can you imagine what John Wayne would think, ladies and gentlemen, if. And it's not that I even dislike these people. You got to understand, folks, people listen to my show for 19 years. No, the whole gay thing is just not what I'm you know, obsessing on. I mean, a lot of people that are obsessing on it from the other end are, you know, they're obsessing on it because me thinks they protest too much. The whole issue here, ladies and gentlemen, though, <coughs> is that it's a political agenda attaching all the socialism, all the communism, all the collectivism, all the eugenics, all the anti-family. Turn on the news, turn on a sitcom. Men are degraded. Heterosexual men are run down. They're put down. 
I've seen two and a half men, one time visiting friends downtown, they have a big area we were getting coffee downstairs in the building and they had a big TV on, nobody was in there, and it was two and a half men, the new version, putting down heterosexual men. And then I was at somebody else's house and it was on, and it was another episode, putting down heterosexual men. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's literally a overwrite of society, a very aggressive cult move. And can you imagine what John Wayne would think a guy who literally went over to the Communist Party headquarters in L.A. one time and personally beat up. This is in the FBI file, seven communists. Can you imagine what, what, what John Wayne, not perfect, but a really good guy. Can you imagine what John Wayne uh, would, 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 would think? It, I mean, th think, think where we've gone from John Wayne and Charles Bronson and you know, those type of figures to... Guys dressing like girls in makeup when they do their exercises or do or, or when they compete at the Olympics. I mean, it's just it is an assault, ladies and gentlemen, and it never ends. It never ends. This is not about equality. This is not about compassion. This is not about being tolerant. It is about adoption. And why, we cover this in Endgame 2.0 with Dr. Kaufman. I'm going to go watch that again and pull up the university documents. I forget which ones. There was a couple of them. It was in the psychology departments and uh, sociology departments. And they said, no, we're going to promote homosexuality. We're going to degrade the image of a man to reduce population and to break up families so the state is the only unifying system. This is the end. Germany is banning single-family homes being built now as of this year. By 2020, they're going to start bulldozing them, many of them. It's on. You will live in a system controlled by them. I mean, this is absolutely off the chart. This is absolutely off the chart. I said I'd go to your phone calls. We're going to go to them right now. It's just that they're taking all the basic liberties. They're discriminating against black, white, Catholic, Protestant, atheist, heterosexual, homosexual, Muslim, Jew, German, Chinese, Mexican, Nigerian, mega banks above the law, tax exempt, diplomatic immunity, armed to the teeth, jet copters, their own jumbo jets above the law, everything, getting our tax money while they're tax exempt, lobbying for socialism that they're exempt from. And meanwhile, they've got us all running around saying you're against, quote, gay people or people with other sexual preferences if you don't want sex education of five-year-olds. And now they've got Hillary Clinton in, in curriculum in the schools and Michelle Obama. I mean, I want these people out of my life. If there was some beautiful female actress that was the most beautiful ever and who had the greatest poetry, you know, let's say Kate Upton with uh, a big brain. And they were shoving her in my face 24-7 and just telling me I had to adopt what she said and what she wanted and what she was doing. I would say, leave me alone. Stop trying to tell me what to do. I would get sick of it. I would get sick of it. Even the most beautiful vista up in the mountains, you get sick of it. You want to see something else. I mean, I am sick of this, man. Just being hammered and hit with brainwashing and propaganda and agendas so that... Daddy and mommy, I mean, the demonization in literature and on TV and in all the trendy shops where it shows, you know, a woman making dinner and it says, oh, you know, I always wanted to be somebody. I just should have, you know, wanted to actually be something that mattered. As if a woman staying home with her children and running the finances in the house in the full-time job and is the most important thing ever for the civilization to go forward. Now the state rules the kids, raises them. Look what's happened. None of this was done putting women in the workforce to empower women. It was done to get 100% paying taxes. It was done on record. Edward Bernays wrote three books bragging about it. They engineered the whole program worldwide. You go to Rockefeller or Rothschild houses, because I've gone and looked at photos and photo books and stuff their families have leaked and stuff that's come out of the years. I mean, it's all women wearing 50 style dresses and the men are in charge and the women are all empowered running the house and the money and the whole nine yards and they're having five, six, seven kids. But they tell you, you don't do that. You understand that?
Women, you get ahead by hating your husband. You get ahead by using...